Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Don Bosco Prep is brought to you by Jag One Physical Therapy. We're playing the sport we love. You know, they're playing it, I'm coaching it. It's a family affair, and that's how pure it is in our family. If you're a Harper, the family business is basketball. Ron Harper Sr. is a five-time NBA champion. Ron Harper Jr. helped put Rutgers basketball on the map and is carving out an NBA career of his own. But up in Ramsey, there's two more Harpers who are now at the forefront of New Jersey high school basketball. Dylan is very focused, I think, a lot uh, because of Maria's guidance. Most days, they're mother and son talking about life, friends, and homework. During basketball season, however, it's coach and player, and they're talking plays and strategy. Dylan Harper took the Garden State by storm during a breakout junior season at Don Bosco Prep. His mother is Maria, who played Division I basketball and is a former high school head coach of her own. As one of Bosco's top assistant coaches, she's there for every twist and turn. I think it's really easy for me because, you know, when my mom's around, she's not just, you know, a mom to me. She's a mom to all my teammates. So, you know, she's a mom, a coach. You know, she helps all of us succeed. Dylan definitely is getting the more calm mom. But all in all, like, at the end of the day, they know how much I care about them. Um, and so even when we do have disagreements, they can embrace and say, you know, at the end of the day, she wants what's best for me. Whatever is best is certainly working because Dylan is now being recognized as one of the nation's elite class of 2024 players. His final five schools say it all. Either Auburn, Duke, Rutgers, Kansas, or Indiana could land the five-star recruit. With the names like Wagner, Wilcher, and Mbako officially done in the New Jersey high school ranks, Dylan Harper is the next face of Garden State basketball. Uh, you know, I think I just give, I just give what the what the defense uh, gives me. So you know, I come out here, you know, if they're gonna double team, I'm gonna pass it. So you know, I think my decision making has really, you know, made a jump and a leap throughout the years. High level, you know, when I watch high school basketball and I watch him play, I'm kind of at awe, you know, he's playing at a really high level, playing great basketball right now, so I'm proud of him, and I'm just here as a spectator, as a fan, and you know, today's one of those days where you're a real proud big brother. But you could make the argument that Dylan Harper has evolved the most off the court. Those closest to him clearly see it. You know, I feel like last year, uh, he was still really young, but this year he came in with a new mindset and, you know, working with him all summer, I knew he wanted to come in this year, prove the kind of player he was and be a real leader for this team. And I think he stepped up in a big way. I think the most important thing is his approach on non-game days, you know, and the way he goes about his work and practice. He's very serious about it. Uh, he really turned the corner, I think, in that in terms of maturing as a player. He's more vocal. He's not, he's not a young man of many words but he is incredibly focused. At some point over the next few months, Dylan Harper will make a college choice, but that will not change a thing. An unwavering focus and a will to win are never going to go away. But I think like the love of the game makes him want to win so badly, even though it's like a quiet confidence. Oh, uh, you know, my mom, my brother, my dad, they all tell me keep level headed because, you know, this isn't the only step where you're going to get all this, you know, everywhere you go, there's always going to be eyes watching you. So, you know, they really taught me how to keep, keep a level head and be humble. Reporting for Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Jay Cook.